Hi YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael and today we have Esme on the trip. So a bit of a stranger trip. Um, it's a bit of a follow-on from last week's video which I haven't actually posted to this point. But I forgot my hammock straps back at one of my camping spots. And this week I don't have my side-by-side -side with me. I uh, actually sold my trailer, long story, uh, to upgrade it. I don't have a new trailer yet, so I can't bring the machine. So I'm gonna have to use the old the old pins to take me down there. So I'm just taking the Helicon Tex Bushcraft Satchel with me. It's got some water in there, some food, um, basic survival stuff, and some water, obviously, and my camera equipment. So I'm going to super lightweight. So for cameras, I just have my awesome action. I have my cell phone with me as well. So we're going to head down the trail. Also have my trusty axe, which I always take with me wherever I go, even if it's a short walk. Um, this does fit in here quite nicely. So let's get going. So it's also a little buggy today. Uh, so I do have some big dope on. But I also wore my Falkneven trousers. So I actually seal the bottom up because I'm walking through grass. I don't want to get any ticks if I can help it. So the walk's not too far today. It's probably around two miles in. Two miles out. So let's just get going. Okay, we're about halfway through, I think. You see the bugs are pretty terrible. Uh, but it's nice just walking in the forest. Let you see a lot more of what's going on. Uh, it's a very muggy day. I think it's scheduled to rain tonight, so. Yeah, very nice. I should do more hiking, I think. I do like the UTV side of things, but uh, it's nothing like being down with the bugs and that's where we need to head to okay I'm gonna pack up my little water break stuff for Esme and uh, we shall get moving So we've arrived and there they are. Oh, I don't normally leave things at campsites. Normally pretty good like that. I checked the ground and I didn't look up. And it was probably because it was raining and I was in a rush. So time to collect those. Then we'll let Esme have a little swim. And we go swimming. And then we'll Good girl. You got a stick. Good girl. So today I've seen a big cat. I think it was a, couldn't tell, it was a little bit far away. I think it was a lynx. Could have been a smaller cougar. And I also saw a rabbit. Which strangely enough, isn't that common. Another hill. Thank you. 
So just to show you how I've got my bag organized. So I have a one liter water bottle. This is the Nalgene wide mouth, mouth bottle. Uh, I've got my drone controller, my drone, extra water. Uh, this is a light. Um, got my bug spray, glasses, also a chest rig. Then I've got my truck keys in this little box here. Bags, sorry. And then the front pouch, I have my wallet, my backup camera, microphones. So probably too much stuff anyway. And for a tripod, I'm just using this little selfie stick with the Manfrotto tripod. It's not the best, but as long as you don't extend it too far, you can use it reasonably well. Of course, I've got my Bushman's X, which I always take with me. I imagine this would be some sort of defense in case of something, not much, but enough to bang a tree and make noise or, you know, hopefully it will never come to that. So I always keep this and it's also a nice backup tool. I've already used it a couple of times today for fallen uh, logs that have come across the trail, small ones, which I'd have to clear anyway. But yeah, look at the flies. Pretty bad. Yeah, we better get moving. Also the sky is starting to get a bit overcast. Okay, time to turn up the pace. I just came across this super weird mushroom. I think it's starting to see the last days. But it's pretty cool. Hey, out there. I think because the, uh, the weather's been so wet, may have triggered some mushrooms. All right, onwards. So we've come to the fabled swamp bog that my Argo used to swim through. My Can-Am probably could get through, but it'd be a lot of clean up. And if I'm solo, then I've got to run a winch line. A lot of back and forth, Esme don't know. Oh, Esme, that's just, come on. Why Esme? Oh, no, no. Oh, you didn't. Esme, why did you do that? Come on. Oh. I think my boots have failed. Time for some new boots. So these are the carry more KSB 3s I've had for, let me think, 26 years, I think. And uh, I've always been a very comfortable boot, but I think the Gore-Tex line in ours seen better days. So if you uh, have any recommendations on kind of high leg waterproof boots that aren't too heavy, just for summer use, and let me know in the comments. There's me, you're gonna stink. Come on, hop up. Ah, so just over this rise and then the, the long cut line, and we're back to the truck. Well, made it all the way back. That was, uh, that was fun. I think that's kind of my limit for my fitness right now. So it's probably maybe six kilometers, five to six kilometers as a round trip. Um, yeah, it wasn't going too fast, undulating terrain, uh, but my hip gives me problems. Uh, <clears throat> when I go too much. When my fitness gets higher, 
the hip problem kicks in later on. So I know my fitness isn't what it should be. I need to build up those muscles to support the hip. And I'll be good to go. So that was good. I think I'll do that more often because I actually enjoyed it. Uh, listening to my podcasts. As we jumped in lots of mud. My shirt's very wet. So I'm going to change this out. Oh. So the next thing we're going to do is get packed up, move on to our camp spot. We're just camping in the truck uh, this week, this weekend. Uh, quick overnighter and uh, relaxing. Yeah. Okay, let's get moving. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.